this corner just got completely epic in about 14 seconds. What up everyone, Kevin from Epic Gardening here. I'm here with Ryan Benoit from The Horticult. Hey guys. So we've done some videos in the past, but today is a special video because Ryan invented something that I think kind of changes the game for indoor houseplant gardening or even outdoor edible gardening, and that would be answering the question, how do you use a hanging pot or a pot that you have with drainage holes already, but how do you hang it and daisy chain it with other pots and make this amazing design right here, among many other types of things that you can do, which you'll see in this video. And so that's what we're talking about. It's called Sky Pots. We're gonna go through exactly how it works and exactly how to set it up. I legitimately think it changes the game of gardening in general when it comes to hanging pots. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you exactly how it works and exactly how to support the Kickstarter project, which is out right now. Let's talk about the Sky Pots. What we're dealing with here is the ability to use the pot that you know and love. And it can be a terracotta pot, it has to have a drainage hole. And terracotta pots for, for gardeners, indoor or outdoor, are amazing because you're getting water evaporation out of the sides as well as almost all of them have a drainage hole at the bottom. The problem is, how do you actually hang this in a way that doesn't leak water all over the place and actually looks good? And so that's what Ryan's created with the Sky Pots. So let's go ahead and actually assemble this and show you how it works. So the first thing is the parts. You've got your two flanges and there's basically a little seal here that helps cushion and it also protects water from leaking out. But you also have these diffuser holes here that make sure that the water spreads evenly when it's dripping through. Then you've got your two attachers and then as well as the hanging system. So let's go ahead and put it together. The first thing we wanna do is connect this to this. We slide it down and you will need to adjust, but for now let's just stick it to about right there or so. Next thing we do is we put our flange into our pot, just like this, and then we'll take our hanger, thread it straight through, flip it upside down, really easy. We wanna make sure we center it on the pot. We put our other flange on, and we may need to, it looks like we may need to slide this through a little bit more, but that's okay. And what we'll do here is we'll then take our hanger, slide that right down, and tighten it up. And now, when we flip it back over, you can see what we've done. We've taken a normal terracotta, and we've converted it into a hanging pot and you can just take another one of these, notice there's a hook at the top, and just hook it to the bottom. And then when you water through, the water will drain downwards, kind of connected to the actual hanger, and so you don't get any spillage, and there's also a catch at the bottom that you'll see later on. these up. Now these stainless steel chain se segments will come with the kit and we just hang it up right here. There's the first one in. Brighten up this corner here for you. Simple. And then the second bromeliad. Now we got a little bromeliad corner. Just hang like Boom. That. Look at that. Simple, easy. It's thing. that easy. So we're doing a little bit more. We got a bird's nest and a begonia coming in. So Rex begonia. And we're gonna hang them up on this hanger. Boom. And boom. This corner just Look got at that. a whole lot nicer. This corner just got completely epic <laughs> in about 14 seconds. We are blocking the YouTube subscribe. <laughs> but that's okay. No, I think it looks great. Yeah, so guys. <laughs> Look at the difference in the, the corner, and I can hot swap. Anytime I want to swap one of these out, all it? I have to do, yeah, just swap one out. Okay, I don't like the begonia there anymore. I want the bromeliad under. Easy. There we go. There we go. And now the begonia comes in. Done. Really cool way to do it. Not, I mean, that's aesthetics, but not to mention just the raw functionality. You get to use the pots you want. So he's got this cool one here, some terracottas. You get to water, the water will drain down correctly, and it uh, just looks amazing. And for indoors, I will say, for indoors, um, I'm recommending not to water these in place. Take them down um, to water, because obviously that last, um, the water, if you hit the bottom one, the water could drain down on your carpet. Right. So what I'm saying is take some time, you know, every week or two when you need to water them, and take them over a mug. I usually take them to the sink, but you can do this in a mug, over a mug. Mm -hmm. Just set it down like that water it out and let the last drops that's a good moment to like inspect your plants exactly. and look for disease and pests and stuff too so i am designing a 
and it's gonna be a stretch goal in the campaign. It's a um, it's a catch, it's a little attachment tray that, that hooks to the bottom one, so you mm. can um, rehang these immediately, because otherwise you would want to um, let this completely drip out, which might take like 10 minutes. So we wanna show you how the watering works here. So Ryan's gonna come in, he's just watering the top just exactly as much as he needs to. And the benefit as compared to, let's say, this hanging one over here, is that you're gonna get drainage out of the bottom straight through and it's the water will kind of adhere to the second hanger and it will start watering the second pot which will then of course daisy chain downwards if you want to water the next pot which is really nice especially for the fact that you can actually use your own pots you don't have to use some sort of out of the kit system so let me zoom in here and show you you can see it's starting to drip down perfectly into the center of the next pot which i really like about this system I think it's just a smart design choice that Ryan made. Guys, that is Sky Pots, super epic. I have now just completely pimped out this corner and I'm gonna be using a ton of these, but I won't be using them if they don't exist. So they are on Kickstarter right now. I'm gonna let Ryan tell you exactly how to support. Yeah, go to my Kickstarter page, back the campaign, and tell a friend, because if this campaign doesn't reach its goal, then I'm gonna have a hard time going into the manufacturing. So um, any help I can get, I appreciate it. and. I want to go into production because I want more of these. I got like 30 in the garden and the only way I can get more is if we're success. Yeah, and I need at least 30 myself. <laughs> so I'm backing, I'm doing the gardener's package backing on the Kickstarter, which you'll see when you go. Link is gonna be in the description and I'm also gonna pin it in the comments too. So go ahead and go support. When does the Kickstarter actually end though? Um, November 18th, so it'll okay. run 30 days. November 18th, that's the last date. Go check it out guys. We've been friends for a long time. It's been really cool watching him go from the horticult, his blog, his amazing blog, into inventing some really sick, epic products for gardening. So I'm here to support, and I wanted to bring it to you guys to give you that opportunity as well. Till next time, good luck in the garden, and keep on growing. Thanks, guys. <laughs>